Let's learn how to use LabVIEW MathScript to plot two functions of time. In this example, my functions are y1 and y2. They involve time, constants, and the exponential. Once you've started LabVIEW, select Tools and then MathScript window. Once the initialization is complete, you can begin typing in the Script tab. A percent sign denotes a comment. You'll also notice that things are color-coded to help you understand the syntax better. And I'd also like to demonstrate a good way of organizing your script to make it reusable for other plots. So I begin by entering in all of my constants at the beginning. A semicolon suppresses the output from printing in the command window when you run the script. To create my time axis, I'm defining the maximum time as 5 milliseconds the number of points to plot as 500. You could probably get by with less, but the idea is that you can set this up to be variable and just adjust it as needed. So I'll create my time axis as initially a vector that runs between 0 and 1, where we have 500 points spanning that range between 0 and 1. And so this syntax that I'm typing defines that. When I multiply by my maximum time, then my time vector becomes an array of values that run between 0 and t max. Next, I'm evaluating the functions themselves. It's pretty much a direct translation of the math. That is, asterisk for times, forward slash for divide, exp for the exponential and so forth. Did a quick little copy and paste there making it a little bit easier to create the second function and I need to multiply this exponential by time. So you notice I'm using period asterisk. This is the so-called array style multiplication. It's important not to forget that. Now it's time to go ahead and start plotting the functions. The plot function itself goes as first argument is your independent variable, second argument is your dependent variable. So let me take a quick moment here to save my script. If this is the first time you've done it, you'll get a prompt for the file name that you want. Typically we end the script file name with .m. So here's the beginning of my plot for y1. To plot multiple graphs or multiple traces on the same plot, we say hold status is now on, and then invoke another plot function for y2. Color coding the traces makes it a lot easier to interpret the graph, so I'll set up y2 to be color coded red. So we use single quotes, and then you could use a letter abbreviation for red, green, blue, and so forth. Let me turn the hold status off, and then enter some additional lines that get the axes labeled, and we can also as attach a plot caption. These particular functions are really operating in the millisecond scale, so I'm setting up my x label to be time in milliseconds. I can then adjust my plot functions to multiply the time vector by 1000. So now it's nicely calibrated in terms of milliseconds. To get the label on the vertical direction, we type in y label and then give it the associated string. And we can also use title to attach a label up on top. Lastly, it's easy to attach a grid to your plot.